Hello and welcome to another episode of Poke Openings. This time we'll be looking at the Shining Legends Mewtwo Pin Collection, which I think is the official name, or the Shining Legend Pin Collection Mewtwo. Either one, who cares? That's not the point of the episode. The point of the episode is to open it up, so let's take a very quick look at the box here. As you can see, there is indeed a pin up here, there is a promo card, and there are three packs of Shining Legends. Which, if you don't know, is a kind of exclusive pack. You have to get them as part of a Shining Legends box or Elite Trainer box. So they're kind of a bit like the Pokemon Generations packs from a while ago. Uh, that's the back, if anyone does want to read it. There's the side there, and there's the front. But that's not why you came here. You came here to watch me open up some packs and maybe show you the card and the pin, I guess. So I'm going to go right ahead and do that. Let's open it up. And first of all, let's have a look at the pin. Oh, it's there. Right, okay then. So this is the Mewtwo pin. And I've got to say, this is actually one of my favourite looking pins. It Now, they did do pins a while ago for Mega Mewtwo X and Y, which were great, but this, I don't know, I really like this design. This is... Uh, it's a little reminiscent of old Mewtwo art. Anyway, let's put him to the side there. And let's grab... Ah, hang on. The promo is part of here. Now, how easily can I get this out without bending it? Ah, quite easily, actually. So, that is the Mewtwo card. Uh, that's the text there, if anyone wants to read it. That is a very nice-looking card. That's another reason I bought this, because I do love Mewtwo, and that design and that hollow background is fantastic. So, let's also put that to the side there. And let's grab the three packs that come with it. So, uh, the code card is there, but we don't really need to look at that. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, the Shining Legend card, basically, in every pack, you're guaranteed at least a hollow, although, you know, you can still pull GXs and stuff. Now, I did open the Elite Trainer box, and indeed, I do have... The sleeves from that here, in case we do happen to pull something very nice today. And, you know, I opened that up and I did get a very nice uh, Secret Rare Rainbow card. So, I'm going to organise everything, set up a little bit easier, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I have all the three packs here. We have the Shiny Genesect, Shiny Rayquaza, and the regular Mewtwo. Never actually worked out why Mewtwo is just regular and the rest are the Shiny versions. Although... Shiny Mewtwo actually doesn't look as good, I think, personally, uh, with a weird sickly green kind of thing going on. Anyway, I'm going to open up this red Gensec pack, which I've already destroyed, but who cares? Now, I believe uh, that this is four to the front, much like Sun and Moon, which means that we get a energy card in each pack as well, which is awfully nice of them. Uh, right, okay, I will get rid of the code card there. Uh, four to the front, I believe. And let's start with Metal Energy. Arbok. Ooh, that's really cool. Sorry, I put it this side. Actually. We have Pokemon Breeder. Very nice. Lily. Yay. I love Lily. Uh, we have a Jinx. A Pikachu with... Oh, I didn't notice the rainbow, actually. Last time. That's a very nice looking card. Pikachu cards are generally pretty nice in most sets, even though he appears all the time. Pikachu is hardly exactly something I get excited for seeing these days. Anyway, we've got an Ekans. We have a Toracat. This just does not want to focus for some reason. Yay, there we are. We have a Breloom. Oh, okay, I thought that was reverse, but it's actually not. Aha! We have a reverse Zoroark. Zorowa, sorry, not Zorowa. Uh, do you want to focus? Okay, thank you, camera. And the last card. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we have a hollow Latias. Just psychic type, interestingly. Okay, then. That is a very nice looking card. All right, I'm going to try and reposition the camera just a little differently, and I'll be right back. Right, okay, sorry about that. Let's get on with the Shining Rayquaza pack. Shining Rayquaza, I meant shiny, but some of the cards in this pack are actually called Shining. Uh, so, I'm not sure. 
Ugh, right, let's get it. Let's get it on with this one then. Again, code card to the side. Or to the front. We begin with a fighting energy. And a Volcarona. Which is uh, an incredibly useful Pokemon. As it knows Fly and Flame Body. What am I thinking of Fletchinder? I can't remember. Anyway, it is Golik. Next up, Pokemon Catcher. And then we have Jinx again. I think that's how the last pack started, actually. We have a Scraggy. Yay, Shroomish. I don't have Shroomish in the background because it's Halloween uh, today. So I thought it was more fitting that we had a Geist Flash. Oh, we have a very popular out Quillfish. Stunfisk. Again, I'm always happy to see the Stunfisk is in such a exclusive set with only 70 cards in. I'm glad at least one of them was Stunfisk there. Uh, ooh, okay, we have a Carnivine, uh, Reverse Hollow. And the rare will be... Ooh, hello. I believe I pulled this last time, but I am never unhappy to see Palkia in card form. That's a very nice card. Mr. Water Dragon with an unfortunately shaped head. Right, okay, let's put that to one side. And let's grab the last pack. It is Mewtwo. Can Mewtwo bring us some incredible pack luck? Will we get a GX? Honestly, I'd be more than happy with a GX. Possibly, maybe, a Rainbow Rare. But let's, you know, let, let's just hope for a GX. Let's set our aims on that. And then we cannot be disappointed. Actually, we can be disappointed because I'll probably just get a Hollow. But regardless, we'll start with a Grass Energy. Ooh, Spiritomb. That's cool. Actually fitting with the uh, spooky theme of today's upload. We have a Golurk. Oh, okay. Energy Retrieval. Always a useful card. Stunfisk again. Good. Good to see you, my man. Uh, we've got a Minon with a Plusle in the background. We've got a Buizel chilling in the river. A Scraggy walking through a desert oasis kind of thing. I'm sorry, my hand is actually blocking part of the human focus. Thank you. Right. We have Voltorb looking angrily into the sunset. A reverse, oh yeah, reverse Shroomish. I'm actually really happy with that. Preferred re reverse Breloom, but you know, Shroomish is my boy. And the last card from the Mewtwo pack of the Mewtwo mythical whatever is, oh, hello, Raikou. Hollow Raikou, that is in, like, oh wow. It's very uh, colourful back as well. He's kind of got Aurora Borealis going on behind him. So really nice looking car, actually. Let's zoom in. Hello, Raikou. You're my second favourite legendary dog after Entei. I haven't pulled an Entei yet, but maybe one day I will. Okay, that about wraps it up for this episode of Poke Openings. Thank you very much for watching, as always. If you did enjoy this and would like to see more Poke Openings, I'll be putting a link to the playlist at the end of this video. Of course, if you do want to see more things in the future, then do feel free to subscribe. And let me know if you enjoyed this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And a comment is always appreciated if you've got anything to add. Or let me know what pulls you got from this box. I pure it's pretty darn popular. I think the Mewtwo is quite playable. And until next time, goodbye.